What if you like one voice in the voice changer and then also like another voice in the voice changer? Well, you can actually merge them together to get a combination of both of them. And I'm going to show you how you can do that in today's video. So the tools I'm going to be using today are the W Okada voice changer and then RVC. But you don't actually need RVC installed. You just need RVC trained voice models. There are links to all the tutorials down below in the description for the W Okada voice changer and how to get AI voice models or train an RVC model. But if you just want to download the voice changer and you don't really care about the video, well, head on over to the Hugging Face page here where you can find the different links. So if you take a look at the bottom left corner, you can find the different download links that you want. When you click into them, you can see the name of the file. And I recommend if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you get the latest one, which at the current recording of this video is 3.11 and that's the one I'm going to be using today. All right, so here we are. Let's say that you have the W Okada voice changer all downloaded and installed. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and open it. So as as always, you're going to do the start underscore HTTP dot bat and it's going to launch up here where you will have this window. It has changed quite a bit since my video, but the, the core concept is still pretty much the same. So once you are here, if you scroll down, you will have the merge lab and that is what we're going to be using today. But to do that first, to merge the voices, you're going to want to upload some voice models. So there are a couple of things that you have to take into consideration here in order to merge voices. Currently, you cannot merge Onyx voice models. So as you can see, this Rui model right here is Onyx RVC. You cannot merge Onyx voice models, so don't even try. The only voice models that you can merge for RVC are the PyTorch files that you get from either training or downloading from AI Hub Discord. And they have to match both version numbers, so V2, and then they have to match sample rate. So the 48K right here has to match. For example, if you have a model that says 40K right here in this second number, and then also a model that says 48K, you cannot merge those two models together. I'll go over that a little bit later. But to do today's merge, we're gonna be using two voice models that were trained with a 48K sample rate on RVC version two. So let's go ahead and click upload, which is gonna bring us to this new window that was not present in the previous video. And we're gonna select a file for model. So you wanna go into whatever folder you have all of your models in. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select this mining 10 kph And then I'm gonna go ahead and upload. Um, I'm not gonna upload an index, but if you wanna include an index, you can. So that is one model here in slot 14. And then let's go ahead and upload a second voice that we want to merge here. And let's go ahead and select this watson.pth. So we're going to upload that and then we're going to go ahead and close this window. So now you can see that I have a another model here, Marine, and then a Watson here. And then we're going to scroll down and go into the merge lab here. But as you see, I have two models in here that are both Marine 10K. And to avoid some confusion, I'm going to show you how you can delete voice models real quick. So to do that, exit out of the W Okada voice client, navigate into the voice changer folder, and then scroll down into model directory. And then we're going to go ahead and select whatever slot number those files are in. In this case, if we go into 12, we're going to see this mighty 10 K here that we're going to go ahead and delete. And then I'm also going to delete this one for 13. And then I'm also going to delete 199, which is going to be the merged PTH files that I had previously done. So as you can see now, I've got 14 and 15 in here, and we're going to go ahead and restart up the voice changer client. Now you can see that there are less voice models here, the Madi and Watson. And if you go into edit, you can see that they are still in the same slots, 14 and 15. Now let's head back on over into the merge lab here. All right, so here is what I was talking about for qualifications for the PyTorch models is PyTorch RVC V2 48,000. Um, this has to match. For example, I'm going to quickly upload a 40K sample rate model and then go back into Merge Lab. And you will see now if I go into the drop down menu, there is one model for 40K. So I can only merge 40K sample rates together and 48K sample rates together. Cool. So 
this is also just pretty easy itself. So this is as simple as just dragging the slider for whatever model you want to merge to determine the strength of one voice compared to the other. So if we do 50, the Watson voice is going to have more strength than the Marian voice and vice versa if we go right here. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and merge both of them at 100 and then click merge. And then we'll end up with this merge model right here that we can go ahead and try. So let's go ahead and take a listen to each one of those individually and then the merged model. So this is how the Marine voice sounds just to give a quick refresher and then if we go to the other one, this is how the Watson voice sounds. So now we're gonna go ahead and click on the merged voice and here we go. Now we have a mixture between the two voices and this is a unique voice as it merged the characteristics of the Marin voice model and the Watson voice model. If you like the characteristics of one voice and want to add it more to another, well, you can do that here. Let's go ahead and merge one more voice. We're going to go ahead and do the Goku one with the Marin voice model. And one thing to note, the merged voice model is going to get overwritten if you do this. So I'll show how you can save the merged voice model after I merge this one. So let's go ahead and merge. We're going to scroll up and go into the merged model here, change the tune. So let's go ahead and start with a tune of 12 and then let's go ahead and start it. Okay, so this is how the voice sounds. It's a little weird. I'm going to bring it down to six zero and um, as you can tell, it's a mixture between the two voices. And if you're curious on how the Goku one sounds, well, this is how the Goku voice model sounds. So when you mix this with the Marian voice model, you end up getting something like this. And of course you can change the tune around and um, yeah. It's that simple to actually merge voices with the W Okada voice changer. Now, what happens if you want to save that ver merged voice? Let's go ahead and go over that real quick. To do that, navigate into the real time voice changer folder or yours will probably be called MMVC, something along the lines of that. I just renamed mine. You're going to scroll down into the model underscore directory then you're going to go into the 199 folder then you're going to double click into 199 and then you're going to find this merged file so what you can do now is just save this merged file anywhere else you want on your computer and then you can upload it as normal just like you do any other models if you don't want to do that you can always export it to an onyx file which will make inference a little bit faster the voice a little bit faster as i covered in one of my previous videos but you can also do this and save it as an Onyx file as well. And one little quick trick, if you're running out of memory with the export to Onyx, you can switch over to CPU and then this will use your system RAM. So now you can export it to Onyx, but it's just going to take a little bit longer than if you had a higher end GPU. So that is all I wanted to share with the W Okada voice changer for the Merge Lab. I think it's pretty cool and I think it's pretty interesting because you can actually create a genuinely unique voice with this that doesn't exist anywhere out there and the combining the features of one for another you can combine to create something that's completely new so that's going to be it today and um, hope you guys found it interesting and i'll see you again later